Cameroon, officially known as Republic of Cameroon, it's a country located in West Africa. It shares border with Nigeria and other African countries. It has a population of 25 million people and it has two sides, the Francophone Cameroon and the Anglophone Cameroon. Its official language are French and English language. I was opportunity to visit the Francophone side of Cameroon, in particular the city of Douala. Come along with me as I experience the city of Douala on this episode of Travel by Alaji Poga. Bonjour les merci. Bienvenue. Je visite le Cameroun. What I just said right now is, welcome. My name is Hassan Nuruddin. I visited Cameroon. Well, for the couple of days, I visited Cameroon and experienced the city of Douala. It's like the Lagos of Cameroon. But for this time, I experienced the food, I experienced different places, the fun places to visit, and also I met a couple of friends. Come along with me as I explain the city of Douala. But first, let's visit the Idumata of Douala. the same vibes I'm getting, nothing really spectacular. Yeah. I mean, nothing different like that. Super simple. Except for the fact that they speak French in the market. Yeah. It's obvious. And French country. French and English speaking country. It's yeah. Correct. But this is a French section. Simple. We're in the French section, the Francophone section. Yeah. Which is Douala. Unlike Lagos market. Unlike Lagos market? Mm -hmm. It's pretty safe, it's much more organized. You don't, you don't see too many. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't see too many pickpockets in it. So, yeah, they are mostly Nigerians. Oh really? Yeah. Good, if you say one, we would we'll like to have that discussion with them. No, Nigerians are the core business people. Oh really? Yeah. How long have you been in Cameroon? Yeah? 1993. 1993. Wow. So how has it been so far? For me, it's good. It's good. So you probably you have um. So do you have like you came here alone or you came to visit somebody, family? Somebody brought me here. Uh, you know, and uh, they already liberated me. I have my own. Mm -hmm. I have to be strong my own. That's the ego, the ego apprenticeship, right? <laughs> Yeah, it, it's kind of legendary. I yeah, mean, exactly, the Igbo exactly, apprenticeship, yeah, exactly, it's exactly. really legendary and I'm really impressed. And you need to help the, another one again to bring him to teach him how to do, yeah. etc. Yeah. him and have his own. Uh -huh. Ex that's how, etc. etc. So, uh, what's the difference between here and Nigeria? No, you cannot compare Nigeria here. Nigeria really is a big country, they have a lot. But you cannot see somewhere. Mm. Now you get him in, you need to move. I said, that's what they say that when you travel, you learn a lot. Yeah. Traveling is part of education, you cannot sit somewhere. I get him. They do it because of the governance. Some people are just crying, but that's life. You follow whatever comes. So how how so how is it? So when people come to Cameroon and they want to get materials, where should they come and meet you? Yeah, Congo. Machen Congo. Voila. Machen Congo. We 
could all see that Machikongo market in Douala, Cameroon has a lot of similarities with Idumota market in Lagos. But wait, can we give it up to Nigerians? They are everywhere. I mean, I was in the textile section in the Machikongo market and it was just Igbo, Pidgin language, and it was a proud moment for me as a Nigerian. Well, it's what it is. It is what it is. I'm sure you're waiting to see the Cameroonian foods that I, tr I tried while I was there. Well, turn on the notification button to get notified whenever I release the next video where I'll be talking about the different Cameroonian foods that I try. It's a really beautiful thing to see. Hello guys, so we're about to try street food. What's a trip without a street food? I'll just take street food everywhere I visit.